everyone and welcome. My name is Mari Makkonen and I'm the marketing director of Kanatu. Today I'll be talking about CMB film heaters for advanced driver assistance systems and how they are enabling any weather safe autonomous driving. But let me first say a few words about our company. So Kanatu is a materials company. We have invented an entirely new carbon nanomaterial with unique properties. It's called carbon nanobot. Our origins are in the Alta University, uh, where we've created a, a very strong patent portfolio. Uh, we have patents for the material itself, uh, for the manufacturing method, as well as uh, different application areas. Uh, about a year ago, we opened a new factory here in Finland uh, with fully automated roll-to-roll uh, -roll film manufacturing line, um, as well as significant uh, scalable production capacity. We've been mass manufacturing our touch sensors for uh, five years already, uh, having delivered over half a million sensors uh, without any uh, field returns, and that's something we are extremely proud of. Um, another key milestone in the history of the company was when we made a significant uh, non-exclusive licensing deal with Denso and have been uh, building the manufacturing capabilities for them. Our strategic investors include uh, 3M, Foresia and uh, Denso. Um, and our uh, technology and concepts have also won multiple awards uh, ranging from uh, material to innovation, uh, brand cockpit design and now recently also HMI award. So in recent years we have focused on uh, developing 3D touch HMIs and uh, heater technologies for the automotive industry. But we also work with the consumer electronics and semiconductor industries uh, where we see a lot of potential for our material. We are collaborating, for instance, with um, IMEC in developing EUV pellicles that protect the photomask uh, from contamination during high volume semiconductor manufacturing, um, as well as uh, with the European Space Agency um, in developing an optical filter uh, for a satellite uh, that can basically pass X-rays but block other wavelengths. So there are many uh, exciting new applications um, for our unique freestanding membrane in the semicon area, uh, where we are also looking for uh, new applications uh, where we could add more value with our material. So the demand for um, advanced driver assistance systems is increasing. So recently there's been a lot of focus uh, on increasing the vehicle automation to improve safety. Um, so the number of vehicles uh, having these um, active safety applications is, is now rapidly increasing. And this is fueled by, um, first of all, new regulations and then also uh, increasing consumer awareness and interest towards these applications. So um, basically both uh, the European Union and US uh, now mandate all um, vehicles be equipped with uh, autonomous emergency braking and forward collision systems. And then um, also more and more people are becoming aware of, uh, of these applications uh, that promote safety and comfort, such as parking assistance and blind monitoring, uh, uh, blind spot monitoring systems, which is fueling the demand for ADAS. Um, secondly, the value of ADAS content per car uh, is increasing substantially, moving from uh, ADAS level 2 plus to higher levels of vehicle automation. So, um, as the vehicles are starting uh, to take more control of uh, critical driving functions, more ADAS applications are needed in a vehicle to detect and process the environment. And this, uh, of course, sets the bar high for the systems too. So in terms of uh, reliability and availability of the function. Uh, so there's a need for, for instance, for higher resolution cameras, wider angles, uh, longer detection uh, ranges and um, very accurate uh, object detection. Um, so the, basically the same technologies that enable today's 
um, ADAS offerings are paving way for fully autonomous driving. And uh, the whole uh, global ADAS market is um, growing uh, at a substantial rate. So uh, it's expected to grow at 12% uh, compared with annual growth rate. So all in all, there's a lot of investments or research and development going on in this area, as well as new players also, uh, who traditionally haven't been uh, involved in the automotive sector, now developing ADAS technologies. So ADAS is um, an essential uh, safety feature of a modern car. So these systems help driver with monitoring, uh, warning, braking and uh, steering tasks. Uh, there can be, for instance, foreign objects on the road you want to be able to detect very accurately. Or uh, you want to see the oncoming cars uh, to avoid collision. Or road boundaries uh, despite the weather conditions. So these are just a few examples um, how these ADA systems can be applied. And um, a typical ADAS application incorporates many technologies like sensors, processors, uh, software, and mapping. And um, sensors are really a critical part of the ADAS system as they gather information on the environment. So um, these sensors are now getting more and more sophisticated. Uh, there are PISA views on cameras, higher resolutions, the LiDAR technology is coming, and so forth. And uh, basically, there are different types of sensors with uh, pros and cons for each. Um, the three most relevant ones are camera, LiDAR, and, and radar. So the camera systems are the dominant, the most established ones, and they are used for object detection. Um, they're cost efficient uh, and can do many jobs. However, they are also easily affected by poor weather, which is why some of the OEMs have integrated cameras behind the windshield to enable a better view. Uh, then the LiDAR systems, uh, they use scanning laser to uh, generate 3D or uh, now even 4D image of the environment. So um, they are used to measure distance. Uh, they are less sensitive to weather. However, they are bulky require external mounting and um, also a bit expensive. Then uh, the radar uh, measures distance, speed and direction of objects. Um, they function better than others during adverse weather. Uh, however, they have shorter measurement range and angle. So they can, uh, there can be multiple um, sensor types and technologies within a car. So it's all about um, using data from multiple uh, sensors to optimize system performance. However, as with any uh, new technology, there are some uh, roadblocks to ADAS uptake. First of all, the consumer adoption or response as cars are taking, starting to take more control over, control over critical driving functions. So can people really trust the system is always working as they should. Secondly, uh, the cost and rate of development. So um, as the base price for cars remain rather stable, um, there's pressure to keep ADAS cost low. And especially the LiDAR systems are still a bit too expensive and further price reductions are necessary to enable a wider adoption. Uh, then thirdly, the legal issues and liabilities that are arising from ADAS and uh, future autonomous vehicles. So there are still no uh, universal rules or regulation in which uh, autonomous vehicles can operate. Um, and the potential legal issues surrounding, uh, for instance, safety in incidents are largely undefined. And then uh, last but not least, harsh weather. So uh, the reliability and availability of the function in all weather conditions. So basically, heavy rain, uh, thick fog, or cold weather can have adverse effect on ADA sensor functionality. And uh, we believe that this uh, may be the greatest constraint to uh, ADA's uptake. So what then happens when it rains, snows, or is uh, foggy outside? 
Uh, first of all, the camera sensors get covered by raindrops, uh, snow or ice, obstructing the shooting view, so the accurate object detection becomes more difficult. Uh, then uh, the effective measurement range of the LiRa system decreases due to absorption, uh, scatter and reflection. So fair weather can uh, lower the performance or even uh, in worst case, limit the availability of the function if the system shuts down when it's most needed. So these systems seem to work perfectly in good weather conditions, but when the weather gets worse, the availability and, and performance of the function may deteriorate. And as ADAS um, applications are starting to take more active control of cards, uh, the safety and reliability requirements on ADAS will, will only increase. So the driver must be able to rely on the systems to always work in any weather conditions. And that's why, that's why we believe that um, hard weather could be the greatest constraint to um, ADAS update. However, uh, there are ways to reduce the limitations and improve safety. So to facilitate ADAS update, we've developed CMB film heaters for ADAS sensors to enable any weather safe autonomous driving. Uh, we are developing our products in close collaboration with, uh, with the OEMs, uh, Denso and other ecosystem players across the entire value chain. So basically these uh, structural heaters are based on our novel carbon nanobot material that we have invented. And, and what's really essential to understand on the material itself is that a single CMB module is only like uh, two nanometers thick. So it's a million times thinner than a sheet of paper. And one carbon nanotube is only a few micrometers long. So it's super, super tiny nanomaterial. And as a network, these tiny tubes are extre extremely conductive. Furthermore, um, this transparent uh, conductor is also extremely uh, stretchable. So you can stretch them up to 200% thermoform with one millimeter radius to create basically um, any shape without losing the conductivity. And this allows you to integrate simply film heaters on uh, any surface regardless of their shape, such as uh, 360 PSI lenses. Um, and our simply film um, has also very uh, low haze and low reflection. So um, a typical problem with the wire-based solutions and even with some uh, transparent conductors like silver nanowires is that they suffer from haze and reflection, which, uh, which is an issue because haze and reflection uh, distort the camera in its view and uh, also lighter pathway, making it difficult to detect the objects and distance accurately. So CMP is a highly transparent, low haze material that can offer even heating and low distortion, enabling accurate object, de object detection and uh, lighter measurement rates. Um, so ADA sensors can be placed in multiple places within a car. So uh, radars are typically lower, uh, providing shorter range and angle, uh, whereas cameras and lighters are typically placed higher in a vehicle as you need to be able to see wider angles and uh, longer distances. Uh, so these sensors can be placed, for instance, in the windshields, uh, the bumpers or emblems, backside of the car, they can be on the rooftop, uh, mirrors, or even uh, headlamp enclosures. Um, and our heater product portfolio includes camera uh, sensor heaters that are integrated into the windshield, uh, where they are offering uh, even heating and low optical distortion, uh, then we have a uh, camera and LiRa 360 sensor heaters integrated into special parts such as uh, emblems or bumpers, offering even heating, uh, 3D form, um, and low optical distortion. And then we also have these uh, LED headlamp heaters. So there's basically a lot of options where the sensors can be uh, integrated. Uh, traditional metallic wire heaters can cause pixel to pixel distortion on camera image. So as, as discussed, moving from level two plus to three and higher levels of vehicle auto automation, 
um, you need to be able to get more and more accurate data out of your system. So that sets new standards for the sensors too. And the sensors are getting more and more sophisticated. You need to be able to uh, see more accurately what the object is, uh, how far away it is, and so on. Uh, like one uh, typical example is that current systems can detect the speed limit, but in the future, the system needs to be able to also see pedestrians and do that very accurately. Uh, the problem with the traditional wire heaters is that they can cause pixel to, to pixel uh, image distortion. So if there is a metallic wire heater in front of your camera, it can distort the image view. So uh, which, what it means is that the image gets blurred uh, and the software is unable to analyze what the object actually is. And then um, on, on the LiDAR systems, wire heaters cause uh, non-uniformity at LiDAR optical paths, also called wavefront error. So these metallic uh, wires block the laser beam uh, inducing beam deflection and um, also the thermal gradient uh, creates non-uniformity on optical lens. So uh, both these reduce the LiDAR um, measurement frames accuracy. Then diving deeper into the technical data. So we have done some uh, optical tests on our CMP here and measured um, the camera image quality, MDF, and image distortion. Um, and as discussed, um, today's cameras have, um, have higher resolution wire angles, and there's a need to detect objects very accurately. But if there's heating wires in front of the cameras, it's creating uh, pixel distortion, image distortion, so you can see the objects very well. But uh, CMP film heater is offering uh, even heating with low haze, uh, low distortion. Um, so first of all, CMB uh, transmittance is uniform invisible uh, wavelengths and the material is color neutral, so there's no color cast in the image. And on the right, you can see the um, measurement setup, including a zebra target, a CMB heater, uh, integrate within windshield and a camera detecting the objects. And below that, uh, there are three images. Uh, on top, you have a class only. Uh, as, and as you can see, the edges of the black and gray stripes of the target are very accurate. And then you have class with PC film and class with CMB heater. Uh, and when uh, the image quality was measured with uh, module transform function, uh, CMP heater had minimal effect on image quality, the MTF. Um, and furthermore, the camera image distortion measurement was the same with or without the CMP heater. So the, basically in all of these three images, the target stripes uh, remained sharp despite of the heater. So there were no, no uh, differences between the three examples. So that is to say that our uh, camera heater solution offers um, even heating, low distortion, um, and overall really good optical quality. Uh, then when you are investing in um, relatively in, uh, expensive lighter technology, you want to be able to measure uh, the distance very accurately. And if the sensors have uh, metallic wire heaters, it can cause a non-uniformity at optical path, way from error. So consequently, uh, the LiDAR measurement range uh, is no longer very accurate. So first you're investing in, um, in a LiDAR technology, then you're losing the accuracy by applying the wire heater on top of the sensor. So obviously it's not a very clever formula. So we measured uh, the CMP heater or CMP transmitters of a lighter wavelength. And as seen on the graph on upper right corner, uh, the transmitters is flat, uh, can be used with all lighter wavelengths, uh, starting from 850 nanometer to 905 and 1550 nanometer wavelength systems. 
Uh, secondly, another critical parameter is the optical path. So uh, we measure the transmitted wave from slope uh, RMS with the interferometer and basically it describes the uniformity of the stack. And, uh, and basically there were no optical changes between power on and off. So there was no um, impact on optical quality, unlike the, what the, the wire heaters have. So with the CMB film heater, you get extremely good um, heat uniformity, uh, the RMS. So as, as you know, uh, reliability in, in the automotive industry is super uh, critical. And we have been working with our partners to um, meet the high um, industry standards on reliability. So we have been testing our heaters both in high and low temperatures, uh, combining with high temperature with uh, high humidity and do it for a very long time. And this has been a major development done on our um, products uh, to meet the toughest industry standards on, on reliability. Um, here's the overview of different uh, vehicle integration possibilities. So uh, first of all, you can integrate heater into the windshield between the interlayers as a sandwich structure where you have top class, bottom class, and heater in between the interlayers. So this is a typical stack uh, we have for our camera products. Or then you can laminate the heater behind the cover uh, glass. Um, for instance, uh, on lighter or um, camera, if the camera is not placed behind the windshield. Or if you have a need to have 3D shape, uh, you can thermoform the CMB heater, uh, the, the CMB material with the substrate and either um, a 3D laminate or injection mold um, to create a really a robust structure. And then finally, we also have these um, convert interior heaters um, uh, that are um, provide differentiation possibilities for OEMs, especially with uh, translucent materials. in snow, ice or rain, but the kind of the CMB heaters can create a safer driving experience. So basically our heaters help uh, vehicles to see better and provide a clear field of vision for ADA systems to operate. And as the uh, ADA applications are starting to take more control over critical driving functions, the driver must be able to rely on the systems always working. And that's why we are trying to develop products that address this greatest constraint in um, ADAS uptake. So to summarize the key benefits, uh, CMP heaters provide even heating, uh, keeping the entire heated air clear from moisture and ice. Um, low distortion um, due to low haze uh, reflection of our unique CMP material. And they're also 3D formable, can be integrated directly on the surface of the 3D, the 360 degree LRM uh, uh, camera lenses. 
Many thanks for your attention. Um, if you have any questions at all, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out. We are happy to help.